trying something a little different today. I have a steampunk event in, how long is it? Five weeks, give or take. And I need an outfit. So I don't have a plan really at all. The only thing is I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. So I want to use things that I already have. Problem is, I've gained some weight over the last two years, which is when I was wearing a lot of this stuff. So I need to kind of repurpose things into a new outfit in five weeks while working a full-time job. I got this, right? Okay, so this is kind of what I have to work with right now. So what I have here is a skirt I only ever wore once. I didn't like the polyester, but that would work for steampunk, so I guess it's a contender. Um, what I have here is this beautiful striped silk that I did not use as well as I wanted to. I was hoarding this for like a, two years. And I finally decided to use it, and I wasn't happy with the results. So I have the overskirt for that, and I have a bodice that definitely is not going to fit me anymore. Maybe I can repurpose that into something. I don't know. I don't have a plan. There actually might be a video of me making this a couple years ago. I didn't have the ruffles on yet. I just made the actual skirt. Uh, this is another one I only wore once. Um, I was somewhat happy with the results, but... Uh, I don't know what I can do with this. I'll figure something out. This right here was a, um, it was going to be a cosplay based off of uh, a design, but I ended up scrapping it. I mean, I kind of like how this turned out. It's kind of fun and ruffly and sparkly, and it, I think it would work for steampunk, but I'm not really sure if I can incorporate it into anything. Now, I do have a couple of steampunk things. So, again, they don't fit me that well anymore but uh i have a couple of things that might that i possibly could have done but it's this event is in april um and I, just, I didn't want to go to dark route i wanted to try something light and springy and winter was long enough as it was let's just i want to try something fresh so i don't know oh plus uh the only extra fabric i have is like green and tan Actually, no, I don't even think I have tan. I think I always have screen fabric. So that's what I'm going with. So I need to figure out a, a dress and a hat. Okay, so I went through everything I had. And uh, this is kind of the best combination I could come up with. But I'm not, I'm not really happy with it. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just um, I don't really have enough of either fabric to make a bodice. And I, you know, I, I kind of need a bodice. <laughs> um... And like, just a couple of things I'm just not happy with. Like the front here is all kind of uh, flat, I guess. It doesn't really full drape. It's not draping as nicely as I would like it to. And I kind of feel like I don't have enough fabric in the back to make the kind of poof that I want. It's all pretty narrow back here, uh, all things considered. So I think I might have to run to the store, which is not something I wanted to do. Uh, but I do have to go out anyway and get my car inspected. So I might as well run to... Uh, I don't want to say it. I might end up having to run the Walmart and just seeing what they have there. I, I really didn't want to do that today. And that's really for two reasons. Uh, first off, I didn't want to spend any money today. And second, I'm not a big fan of Walmart. Uh, there's nothing wrong with Walmart. But it's just, I feel like every time I go there, it's either because something breaks or because I ran out of something. So I'm always going there in a bad mood. And I think I conditioned myself to not want to go to Walmart. Plus, Walmart would really not be my first choice for fabric. Uh, usually my first choice is to go online and buy from sites I'm familiar with. In the pinch, I'll go to Joann's, but that's further away than Walmart is. So, I mean, I might as well just see what they have. And if I don't see anything, I can... I'll have to figure something out. But I, I have to go out anyway. And uh, another problem with this outfit is I would need a hat and I don't have either fabric left or anything that matches it really so uh i think my hands might be a little tied so anyway walmart adventure coming up the goal is to find some blue fabric because i have a blue bustle hat and that will save me time so let's see
So a 10 minute trip turned into an hour because it took about 50 minutes for me to get help and get out. Which kind of reminded me why I never go to the Walmart. But oh well, got the fabric. I got my car dropped off for its inspection. The afternoon is mine, so let's see what I can do. Okay, round two of supplies. So this is a mix of stuff that I bought today and stuff that I kind of had laying around. Uh, I figured this is a good opportunity to just kind of experiment, I guess. So I bought this kind of fun fabric from... Uh, from the store earlier. It should have been a 10 minute trip. It ended up being an hour, but we're not going to talk about that too much. So I'm going to see what I can do with that to make an overskirt. Um, I also bought this uh, cute butterfly fabric that kind of matches. So I thought maybe I could work that in if I needed extra yardage for any reason. Uh, I already had some of this green fabric over here uh, just from past projects. So I could always try and see if I can work that in. Uh, I have this uh upholstery uh beigey fabric in case i need it also i have an assortment of trims for my stash i have no idea if i'll be able to if i'm going to use any of this or all of it or what so we'll see what happens i really have no plan here i bought some of this heavier uh white cotton just in case i need an interlining uh because i have no plan so i was just trying to account for whatever I might need. I have a couple of uh, one yard pieces here just in case I need different kinds of trim or extra fabric somewhere I want to add a more color. And over here I have a hat that I made a couple years ago and hopefully I'll be able to wear this. Uh, we'll see. But hopefully I can work enough of these elements together where that hat will go well with uh, all this. All right, let's see. All right, so I had just enough of this butterfly fabric to make the apron for my overskirt. And I'm really happy with the colors in it. I really think it just looks fun. So obviously I still need to uh, pleat it up and everything, but I just wanted to show you that this was uh, a yard of fabric and it was the exact right amount that I needed. Okay, so I'm working on the side and back of my overskirt and, uh, I was a bit lazy and I kind of wanted to show off my laziness a little bit. So I didn't cut out my pattern. You can see it's kind of just chilling here on the floor. I just kind of laid my fabric over it and just cut because it's mostly straight lines. And then I laid it over and I put the, uh, I marked the dots and everything. But, uh, there's this line here, right here, this weird curved line that I wanted to make sure I got uh, accurately. Like I said, I didn't want to cut the pattern. It's right in the middle of my fabric. So, uh, I did this thing over here. I took some scrap paper and I just kind of ripped it up, laid it out. <laughs> I traced the line and I cut it out. And then I just kind of drew along it. <laughs> I, uh, made a couple of marks just so I knew where to line it up. But, uh... Yeah, that's, I kind of cheated a little bit. Just because I didn't feel like tracing out my pattern. So yeah, if you ever feel like you need to cheat a little bit to get it done, do it. So the top part of the overskirt's all done. I really still love this fabric. I think it's just so much fun. Still need to do the, the bustle properly because I'm not quite sure I like that, but eh, that's a problem for later. I'm also not sure about the butterfly fabric. I think it's a lot to look at. 
Uh, I feel like your eye really needs a place to rest. And, uh, I mean, the colors do all work together, but I'm not sure. I think it might just be a little too busy. So I might swap that out for uh, something a little plainer. Uh, I do want to show you a mistake I made. So you can see this side. This side was done correctly here. I haven't really pressed my waistband yet, so just ignore that. But um, you can see right here, it's all nice and uh, smooth and straight. Well, I must not have sewn the side up the same way because on this side, I actually had a lot of extra fabric and I had to pleat it up uh, just to try and make sure I fit into the waistband so that there was actually enough room for uh, the back panel. I'm assuming that happened from when I uh, sewed this channel in, which was my fault. I was rushing, so I wasn't um, being very careful with my markings. Uh, and then I think I messed up a second time because I feel like if I had really thought through, I would have had the pleats face the other way. And be less noticeable because now I got a little poof here. Uh, right here. I mean, it's not awful. And I don't know, maybe I could figure out a way to cover it up a bit. But, right, we are getting there. I really think I should replace that fabric. Okay, so I'm clear procrastinator because rather than make uh, the apron like I meant to, I put a ruffle on the overskirt that I already made uh, along with some trim that I just happen to have in my stash. I'm up in the air with how I feel about the ruffle. I feel like it makes the whole thing look a little bit more like a dust ruffle on a bed, but you know, I can always pick that out later if I really want to. I probably won't. We'll see. I also pulled uh, the tabs back a bit, which I actually kind of like better. Um, I think it makes it look a little more interesting. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still uh, not sure about the ruffle, but we'll see. I also popped a shirt onto my dress form here. This is actually the shirt I made for our engagement pictures. We did a um, Edwardian-inspired shoot, so it wasn't perfectly accurate, but it was kind of fun. And I don't really have another uh, top for this. I'm not really planning on making a bodice. So I thought this might just be, um, I don't know, it's pretty. And it's, Edward it's Edwardian, but yeah, this is steampunk. So I guess it, uh, the rules don't quite apply. So I guess we'll just have to see how this goes. Okay, so here's my new overskirt apron. Uh, I definitely like the blue better than the butterflies. I feel like it kind of gives your eye a place to rest. I also switched out my foundation skirt. I have this nice uh, green one now. I can't quite tell that it's green uh, because of my lighting right now, but it is definitely green. I definitely think it just kind of pulls everything together a little bit more nicely. Uh, I also stuck one of my corsets on top to see how it looks, and um, it's okay. It's okay, but I, I feel like I can do better. So I think I might end up making a, um underbust instead. I feel like that would be a little less distracting, because I feel like right now it doesn't quite pull the outfit together. Uh, and then, of course, I have my hat up here that I dug out, which luckily does uh, match, more or less. So at least I want to make a new hat in a week. That'd be, whew. Anyway, I'm going to work on, um, I'm going to work on my underbust corset and then this outfit should be done. I think. We'll see. Today is Wednesday. The Clockwork Festival is on Saturday and this is where we're at right now. I'm definitely glad I'm going with an underbus uh, corset here. I think um, it still might be a little too high, but I'll just work. I'm just gonna finish the channels and then I'll cut it down. Uh, but all in all, we're definitely getting there. We 
right, it's Saturday morning and we're getting ready to eat before we leave. I did get to finish my dress last night, uh, but I forgot to make a video of it before I undressed my dress form. But I got everything here. I have three petticoats, the underskirt, the overskirt, uh, the bodice blouse thing, the under bust corset thing, my hat. Um, and I guess we just gotta get ready to go now. Thank you. 